Hey guys, today I have another video. This time uh, it's for a smart material I made. And it only, well it works in multiple channels, but it's supposed to uh, be used only as a base color material for diffuse uh, rendering engines that don't use advanced shading, etc. And the cool thing is um, that all the perceived lighting that's actually baked in. So I'm gonna walk through some of the options that are available. And um, the mesh I'm using here is the base mesh from uh, the Exteon, Exteon <laughs> competition. And um, it's available on uh, the Substance 3D website. Um, so yeah, so here's the, the layer stack. And inside the base paint, all the way down, you have uh, just a simple color picker. And this will allow you to um, just actually do what it says. You can change the, uh, the color, the underlying color. And there is some, uh, some scattering and reflection going on. Um, so you have to be careful to, to use the uh, saturation you want. Um, because if you crank it all the way up, it, it can get overblown, which in itself is a cool effect. But you might not always uh, want that, actually. Um, then as we move up, um, you can see some of the shading happening here. Uh, I'm going to leave these things alone for now. So this is the base paint layer. And then you have a decal color layer. And here you can actually basically do the same thing. So let's go with something purple. I've been watching um, uh, a television series about uh, car pimping. <laughs> And um, that kind of inspired me to, to have a go at this. And um, again, all the shading is baked in, so you would just have to export a texture and um, you can then apply that in, uh, in your game engine. And if you want to change the decal, um, let's also dive into some of the warping I'm doing. I'm warping the edges a bit to, to make it look a bit cooler, but you can actually disable it and get those uh, nice tight lines that you want. And that will also influence uh, how the grunge is applied. So inside the uh, decal color stack, you have a grunge. And we can change it up. So we can use uh, any of the procedurals. Not all of the effects will have um, the result that you might expect. But you, you usually get something cool out of this. And this can be a very cool um, start, basically for doing your own uh, edits, like stamping decals and stuff on there. Some of the cooler things come from, uh, cooler effects I should say, come from gradients. This is pretty funny as well. Um, it doesn't really look like wood grain, more like uh, some fancy uh, damask steel. This one was nice as well. Gives you kind of that uh, drop effect. And if we turn on the warp, you'll see that it actually uses the same noise to warp the edges a little bit. And uh, it can look a bit messy at times if you want to use a more geometric pattern. Let's go for a gradient. Oh, it will probably be just below here. There we go. And then crank up the tiling. Now you'll get some cool patterns, but if we apply the warp pill, you'll see that um, you don't always get the, uh, the nice and clean look uh, from it. So let's leave this uh, the way it is for the moment. Then there's a uh, gradient applied inside the decal just to kind of make the color a bit deeper. And I'm using a uh, mask in the shading um, to kind of give the idea that this is a different kind of paint uh, applied than on the uh, base layer. Or maybe uh, it should be a foil. Um, but it gives you a bit more interesting shading. And there is a uh, fill light in here as well. Um, an environment fill light. Uh, it's what I named it at least. And if we turn this off, you'll get some more metallic shading, which can be an interesting effect as well. Might not be um, what you want all the time. But again, it's all for uh, empowering the, the end user basically, so they can do some cool stuff. And this is all in the uh, Diffuse channel. And there we go. There is another uh, material like this, which I made. 
and it'll be bundled in um, a pack on ArtStation. Currently there's two materials, I might add some more to it. Um, so this basically uses triplanar projection for the decals. But if we remove this, oh, remove the entire uh, material, drag on the other one. And this uses a planar projection for the decal, meaning that um, you can get some more accurate splatter and smear effect basically. And it's the same way, so you go to the decal layer, to the mask, scroll all the way down to the grunge, and here it's a planar projection. You can actually use the other one as well, and just change the projection, uh, but for beginning users this might be actually um, a bit more accessible. And if we then go to grunges, we can start having some fun by putting in uh, all these weird, weird noises basically. And as you can see, it, uh, this is actually the plane of the projection, it's angled slightly and we can rotate uh, it actually. So if you want to project it only from the top, you can do that. It updates a bit slow since it's in 4K. Now you get some more definition here. And if you want to do it um, kind of uh, upwards to give the illusion of speed, you can do that as well very easily. And you do have to kind of um, take into account the directionality of the noise you're putting in but it's just a simple rotate away basically. And again, it's super easy to, to swap the colors. So let's say we want to make this a, a deep red, kind of do the inverse of uh, what we had on the other one. Then make the decal white, maybe uh, a bit silvery. Um, let's make it very faint silver. And then deepen the base paint a little bit. Kind of make me, makes me feel like Bob Ross doing these things, which is one of my, uh, who is one of my personal heroes actually. And then if we disable the fill light, get some cool metallic shading. This might be a bit too dark, but that's uh, one of the cool things about Substance Painter. You can just go in and change it any way you like. So these will be bundled. Uh, I think there's still an R station sale going on uh, as of this date, 30th of April, but I might be mistaken. Um, but they have sales quite regularly. So if you want to uh, check it out, um, it's gonna be there. And also be sure to check the videos uh, if you're uh, in doubt on, on spending any money on this. Um, but if you like these things and uh, want to give a developer a cup of coffee, uh, feel free to, to get it, check it out. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye.